Hello. First of all, I want to apologize to the internet for all my recent interactions. I've been a bit of a an ass, I guess you could call it. A bit grumpy, a bit uh, judgmental. Anyways, so sorry for that. Welcome back to the dusty ass couch. Uh, nobody sat in it except for him. My Astrobot plush. It's actually a cheap ripoff. Well, I mean, it is Astrobot, but it's... I got two for the same price as one of the good ones. It took a while to get from China. Like, straight from China, fresh off the presses. So, today we're gonna show off this toy gun that I got. It's pretty cool. Um, the holster was extra, so... Oops. Do a little press check. John Wick style. Well, it's kind of hard to do it in front of the camera here. So you take out the magazine, make sure it's clear, check the chamber. It's clear. Comes with these super realistic Hornady critical defense rounds. Oh, wait. Huh. This is a real gun, stupid. This is the toy gun. So... Came in this very discreet black box. It's a revolver. It's because I wanted like a fidget toy kind of sort of situation. And I want a revolver. So I was like, hey, let's get a toy. This is a Smith & Wesson. Branded. See the little logo there? It was 20 bucks. Um, I'll be honest, this should be like 10 to 15, but it's still fun because this uh, the the cylinder pops out, all that good stuff. It comes with 12 rounds that you just pop out like that, and then you take these little things. These bullets, they give you 40 rounds, and you stick them in there. It also comes with this super cheesy holster. I mean, if I wear this holster, I'm going to feel like a leave it to beaver wearing a cowboy hat and going bang bang. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play with the gun. But you can stick in the rounds like that. Play Russian Roulette if you want. Whoops. True fact, the first time I played Russian Roulette, just for fun, I actually would have shot myself. I'm not going to shoot myself in the head. It's just funny. I guess. Like, not funny haha, but like, funny. So, let's see. We're going to test this. Oh yeah, you can either shoot it in the gun, or you can do this. You don't see me. I'm going to blow it like a blowgun watch this this is blowing it like a blowgun okay well the first time i did it it was way more reactive so let's test it out let's put in one round well let's put in a bunch also the trigger pull on this gun is atrocious it's like 15 pounds or something i didn't get out my gauge that i don't have because i don't really care to test Oh yeah, that's enough. The only issue is you kind of have to seat them properly, otherwise it doesn't close the cylinder. Okay, then you cock it. So it's a single action only. And we're going to test it on this ballistics paper towel. Okay, well, that was an empty one. <laughs> That was an empty one too. Okay. Let's do that again. As you can see. Actually, that seemed really weak, but it's pretty powerful. Like, powerful enough that it bounces all over the place and you lose them. Because I already lost one. My second shot, I lost one. And then I, I remembered that it's easy to lose your rounds and stuff. But it's pretty cool. I like it as a fidget toy and then you can 
eject the shells like that. So I just, you know, play with it and stuff. I guess that's what toys are made for. Right, Astrobot? Your game's sixty dollars, dude. I was gonna wait till winter to play it. Or fall now, because it cooled down. And I saw it was sixty dollars. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pin in that and I'll be back for your game, your new game. But I will get it. So anyways, have a great day.